say it's already t turning out to be fairly changeable. We have a run of southwesterly winds, fairly stiff breezes across the country, and some weather fronts heading in as well. In fact, all the while during today, we've found that cloud thickening in western and northern parts, and that cloud has already brought with it some outbreaks of rain. There's a veil of thinnish high cloud across the south as well. That's where most of the rain at the moment is, across Ireland, pushing into Scotland as well. There is still some bright weather left in the northeast of Scotland, but many places are going to have some clouds and those outbreaks of rain, one of the fairly heavy bursts of rain as a matter of fact, but they'll move away, eventually coming down into northern parts of England and Wales, the Oddshire and the West Country as well, leaving behind uh, somewhat brighter weather, but with some blustery showers. But for most central and eastern areas, it should be a very different day to yesterday. We had a bright one, a fairly pleasant one, albeit quite breezy, but the winds are going to be strongest in the northwestern corner of the country, where we could well get up to gale force from time to time. Fairly mild everywhere, the temperature is high at about 12 degrees. Now, during this evening and tonight, that band of, by that time, fairly lightish and patchy rain, creeping a little bit further southward, fizzling out at the same time. Still some blustery showers coming into parts of western Scotland and northern Ireland, but a fairly mild night just about everywhere. I suppose the odd sheltered spot or the highlands of Scotland could just about see a touch of frost. Now, tomorrow we're going to have another weather front uh, heading in from the west, although that's slowing down in the process. A little bit of cloud across England and Wales to begin with, spot or two of rain here and there. That should dry out, I think, for the most part. Maybe just the odd lightish shower in parts of the southeast near the south coast. But I think we will find there will be showers in the northwest, and uh, in many of these western areas, showers tend to get more frequent and lengthy as the day wears on. And the odd one perhaps creeping through to eastern areas late in the day. There's the showery front, that'll be moving out of the way first thing on Tuesday, but more fronts rushing in from the west. So perhaps some showery rain in some eastern areas to begin with, especially northeastern parts. But then on Tuesday, a good deal of dry and bright weather for quite a while, and then it turns wet and windy, that weather sweeping in from the west in the second part of the day. The front moving out into the North Sea during the process of uh, on Wednesday. So some rain in the eastern parts to begin with. Then it's going to be a, a blustery day, some quite strong winds and a fair number of showers, and those showers should turn to sleet or snow over those uh, northern hills. Same sort of thing for Thursday, still those blustery westerly winds, but they're going to bring through a fair number of showers. But there's the trouble beginning to br brew up down to the southwest of us, but fairly straightforward, I think, on Thursday. And it is going to be another showery day. Some of the showers should merge into longer spells of rain and again some snow over the mountains. But there's what Friday's chart could turn out to be. A little bit difficult to say at the moment. The low could be in a different place, perhaps not as deep. But if it does start to be...